Okay, part seven, I think, of the series of how to make a cast out. That's why I'm going to get a little more in-depth with wideners, why they're important. But I'm going to show you how to tie in once your needle runs out right now. So I've got complete three rows, and I did complete it my wideners. I already clipped it off, and I've already tied back in a couple of times just to show the different ways. Tied back in once there. Put my widener there. So you should have 16 wideners if you put 32 on top. So I just tied a simple knot on my needle. Back through the loop. Same knot, half hitch. Just to cinch it down. Oh. And you can see the difference between the 25 pound test in the 30. We'll clip that off later. And just complete it with a full hitch. You see this one I put halfway in. If you don't want such a big knot, I just got two half hitches. And tie it in back here. Okay, so that's it. You already see the nets. Starting to spread. So you got 16 of those. And here's a better detailed explanation of what to do. You got your first three. This is all color coded, this whole net. Blue is your top. You got top three plus your three columns of wideners. And then red is your skirting. These are 10, 10, 10 times down in blue. And then skirting is another four. And then every other subsequent column of wideners is going to be eight times down. And each one of these white panels is all wideners, and the red is all skirting, no wideners. White, and that's about a foot. It's eight times down, it's an inch and a half thumb board, so it equals almost a foot. Or right at it. So, and that's how you do that. And uh, the next video we'll put, be putting the horn on. Thanks for watching, and uh, there's more to come. Thank you.